Hi, I am Pablo Lopez from Ponce Health Science University. The title of my presentation is Molecular Evolution and Epidemiological Characteristics of SARS-CoV-2 in Dominican Republic. A collaboration with Dr. Robert Paulino from the Ibero-American University in Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic is the second large Caribbean country. There have been a half of million of infections and around 4,000 coronavirus-related deaths reported in the country since the pandemic began. Like other countries, once the first case of the virus SARS-CoV-2 were detected, the government established a strict lockdown due to the absence of vaccine and effective pharmaceutical treatment. The virus is a RNA virus that evolved over time, leading to new variants. The S protein is one of the most important regions of the virus due to be part that come into contact with human cells. The objective of the study is analyze sequence from Dominican Republic available in global initiative on sharing all influenza database in order to establish molecular evolution epidemiological characteristic. A total of around 1,000 full genome nucleotide sequences from Dominican Republic were obtained from GSA database. The multiple alignment program from amino acid or nucleotide sequence, MAF, and BioEdit sequence alignment editor were used to perform sequence alignment and addition respectively. The genotyping detail were obtained using Pangoli web applications. Of this sequence, a total of around 900 sequence were selected to perform molecular evolution analysis, which were only those that covered totally the spike region. In addition, the sequence uses to assess the course of the viral epidemic over time were those collected between March 2020 and February 2022. The phylogenetic relationship were analyzed by using the maximum likelihood method implemented by IQ3 web server, and the evolution rate of the virus was evaluated by using the Bayesian Marco Chain Monte Carlo approach implemented in this software package. Finally, the web tools Corona app and genome detected viral tubes, among others, were used to monitor mutations. Of the 1,149 samples, 75% were classified into A relevant variants according with Pangolin Scorpio. Delta is the variant with more haplotype, followed by Mu variants and Omicron variants. The most frequent non synonymous mutation over the study period was D614G. This mutation is associate with increases in infectivity. After initial appearances rapidly spread around the world and interestingly remain in the new variants. Never tell it. According with all data, only wild type or virus not included in variant being monitored or, or variant of concern was observed in 2020, with the exception of alpha that was identified in December 2020. During 2021, the virus B monitoring Yota, Epsilon, Gamma, Mu, and Lambda were identified. Even though a high increase in Mu was observed during mid 2021, was rapidly being displaced by variant of concern Delta. Meanwhile, the variant of concern Omicron was observed at the end of December. A relationship between the new variance identification and the new daily confirmed case was observed. Phylogenetic relationship of the virus and the divergence time analysis was performed with this software. Using the collection day of isolation as calibration point, the demographic reconstruction showed an initial short lag phase after that the epidemic experienced a fast exponential growth from early 2021. 
followed by a symptotic phase at the final of 2021. The SARS-CoV-2 is a RNA virus which have the characteristic that evolve over the time and can produce new variants. It's evident that each new emerged variant of concern is more infection than the strain they displace. A better understanding about how the viral evolution is driving by genetic and ecological factors to adapt the environmental or human intervention among others help us to establish strategy to better control viral evolution. I would like to acknowledge the support of RCMI Center for Research Resources.